Earth Day was on Monday, but now it's celebrated all week long. And really, we should all practice being kind to the environment all year long. You can find lots of activities to help you do that in the Kidsburg Earth Day Guide. And Kidsburg Ambassador Yuling Bear is here with her own children uh, with some highlights and fun uh, for an Earth Day activity. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We're yeah. excited. And we should introduce everyone. Yes. So, Catherine, Caroline, yes. and you are Lucia. Lu oh, I said it wrong. Okay. How do you say it? Lucia. Lucia. Okay. And Isabetta. Did I say that right? All right. And and your dad is. It works here at KDK, right? Who is your dad? Photographer Scott Danka, who is super talented. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating with all of this. And you know, it's so important to get kids to understand the meaning of Earth Day. Absolutely. And I know, Catherine, you wanted to tell us why it's so important to celebrate Earth Day, right? It's it's important to celebrate it because the Earth, like, it can't clean up on its own. So we have to clean it for it, like keep it healthy every day. There you go. What a perfect answer. That was great. Yeah. All right. So what are you making today? Because this is this is a fun name. Yeah. So these are <laughs> we're going to make seed bombs. Seed bombs. Yep. But they're not actual the, bombs. They're not real bombs. Okay. No, All they're right. actually going to beautify the earth, help All us right. take care of the earth. Um, and this activity actually comes from the Children's Museum. And it's something you can do this week in celebration of Earth Day. Perfect. So as you can see, we already have tins with dirt right. in it. We've got dirt here in the studio. Yep. And I'm going to give um, packets of seeds. And what you do is okay. you just sprinkle the seeds onto your dirt. I'm going to give you some seeds in your hand here. So you now, can are just these flower it. seeds or these vegetable are, seeds? These or? are flower seeds, okay. and they're actually native to this environment here in Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, and so that's something is you don't want to plant a seed, or you don't want to plant flowers that don't make sense for this right. environment, right? So we have wildflowers, we have columbines, the blue star ones. So you just sprinkle it into the dirt. And what I love about this activity is it's easy for young kids to do. Older kids right. can really make a lot of seed bombs. So once you do that, then what you want to do is add a little bit of water. All right, so we're making mud now. We are right? making okay. mud. I couldn't believe it when the studio said that they would let me do this. So right. well, we like you. Anyway, so we, we have special rules yeah. for you. So then add a little bit of water. And okay. what you do then is you get your hands in there and you start to make balls, right? So we're going to start to mix it around with our hands and we make seed balls. So you have the seeds in there yep. and then you make, and how many, like in this tray, how many oh, little balls should so they make? So the balls you can make are, are about one inch balls. So sort of okay. maybe like, you know, this size, you can make them mm -hmm. bigger. And then okay. once you make them, you throw them out where you want flowers to grow. And so it could be in a place that's hard to reach. It could be somewhere that is in desperate need of some pollinating flowers. Um, in this case, we won't throw them. I brought Nice little cups that actually can go into the ground, and you can put your seed balls in So you could put the in balls here. in these cups and then plant them you in could. these cups? Absolutely. Okay. So the kids here will go home with flowers today. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And that's a great activity. <laughs> and this is something that's just kind of fun. I mean, getting yes. your hands in there, getting dirty, it gets kids motivated, right? It does, and it teaches kids, and it teaches adults, too. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of of planet Earth. You know, you really can get in there. You can help care for it, touch it, take care take care of your your home your living place. right right now there are also some events as, as you guys continue you're doing really well yeah, yeah you're doing it is job. this fun yes. it is fun <laughs> okay <laughs> all right now there are some events that we want to mention uh, that mm -hmm. are coming up yes. that you can still celebrate Earth Day with your kids right and Absolutely. one is at Frick Park so at, at Frick uh, Environmental Center it's mm -hmm. part of um, Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy so this Saturday they're doing their huge Earth Day celebration you can go on one of their many hikes there. Um, it's a guided hike tour. There are naturalists on hand to teach kids about pollinating flowers, about birds, about um, healthy tips that they could use in their life. Um, and also on Friday night, you can there's a community bonfire. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, so. I love a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hopefully there's some s'mores. Actually, they, they encourage you to bring something that you'd like to grill. All so. right. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. And also, you want to talk about FIPS, because FIPS is great to visit any time of year, but there's a special event. Yeah. So all week they're celebrating Earth Day as well. And so tomorrow specifically you can pot your own flower, a pollinating flower, and then learn about animals that help that, such as butterflies. So you can go visit oh. the butterfly house. Yeah. And then Saturday they have their big family fun fest. So again, lots of activities, lots of healthy tips that they'll share on how kids can be active, kids and families. 
can together be active all year long. Right, and I love the butterflies too because that know. just adds a whole new dimension to the whole thing. It does. Yeah. They're not just pretty. They're they're really helpful animals to planet Earth. Right, so. and you also we have a mention of something happening at the zoo. I know Henry's here with his animals, yes. but there's an event at the zoo too, right? Yeah. So they call theirs Wild Earth Day. Wild Earth Day. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and it's animal conservation. Um, they have a scavenger hunt plan, so you can learn about the various animals. There's animal feed um, feedings throughout the day, and you can also learn about ocean conservation on how to take care of sea turtles. Yeah, you know we're working right now making these seed bombs. Yeah, they're but doing a great do, job. Do you think kids growing up now just have a, a more of an appreciation for Earth Day? They understand it more, and and of course things like this help teach it. I do. I think kids naturally they. They care about people, they care about things, they care about earth, they care about flowers. And I think I've learned a lot from kids as I talk to them about oh, why wow. it's so important to keep that seed growing. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, keep that seed growing. <laughs> See how she did that? She was so smooth. All right, well, thank you. you ladies, you're doing very well. Uh, so you're going to have some flowers whenever you go home. So thank you very much for being here and for doing this. And you can see the full Earth Day guide at kdka.com slash kidsburg. Be sure to sign up for the weekly email so you always know the latest on what's happening for kids and families in our area. And thanks again, Yuling. Thank you.